for our main event of the evening. Coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between lightning fast striker Mike Swick and El Nino. Fighting out of the blue corner is El Nino. With crushing power in his kicks, he'll be looking to keep this fight on the feet and deliver a knockout from the outside. Known to UFC fans as a fighter who can end things in the blink of an eye, Mike Quickswick has lightning fast strikes and a guillotine choke to match. With a great training camp behind him, he'll surely be looking once again for an early knockout. to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, Ryan El Nino Jackson. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California. Mike Nick Swift! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki. El Nino, Mike Swick. And here we go. go. Joe, what do you think's going through the mind of Jackson coming into this fight? UFC fans have come to know him as a man with devastating power, especially after winning the Knockout of the Year award. Yeah, one clean shot from this guy, and it's lights out. And anyone that steps into the octagon with him has seen the same highlight reels as everyone else, so they better not let their guard down. Oh, that one dropped him! It's a bit of a cut here on El Nino. Pushing his opponent away, and he lets him back up. Some vicious kicks. He is teeing off right now. Oh, but he oh, ate he a left hand. Left. Oh, good combination. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Oh, head kick. Oh, nice left and a right. Under three minutes now. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Excellent combination. Oh, answered by a big body shot. And now he's answered. Nice body kick. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, spinning back kick. And now Swick is cut as well, Joe. Nice double leg. Pushes him off of the feet. Just over a minute remains. Oh, big shot. Nice counter right, he's down. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. Oh, big hook. Oh, big right hand, he's down. He's working for the rear naked choke. He's oh, got he's it got under it. the neck, Mike. He's got it locked in. This is good. It's tight. Not oh, tight enough, he escaped. Joe. He had his opponent stretched out, but couldn't. Oh, oh he's down. Down. It's over. It is all over. That's it. Knockout victory. Wow. How good is that? El Nino with the spectacular finish.
Let's take a look at the timing again. I mean, he just sets that up perfect. And again, and here's the knockout blow. What a great job. Watch it again, Joe. Wow. Right on the button. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen.
event of the evening. Coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between one of the members of the Ultimate Fighter's original cast, Josh Koscheck and El Nino. Fighting out of the blue corner is El Nino, a physically imposing striker with some of the most devastating kicks in the division. He'll be looking to use his knockout power to end this contest early. An NCAA champion who developed knockout power in his strikes, Josh Koscheck has become a top-ranked UFC welterweight. Since his appearance on The Ultimate Fighter Season 1, he's claimed over a dozen UFC victories. And tonight, he's hoping to add one more to that impressive record. Edge Shave Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a kickboxer. He's to end now. Fighting! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this cop. Gentlemen, ready? El Nino. Ready? Josh Koscheck. And here we go. Let's Joe, fight. how do you approach this fight if you're El Nino? Can he add another victory to his phenomenal winning streak? If anyone is going to hand him a loss, it'll be his opponent tonight. This is a tricky matchup for him on paper, but we've seen him defy the odds many, many times, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if we saw him add another W to his record here. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, he answers. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Joe, the crowd is in favor of Josh Koscheck. He is teeing off right now, trying to punish the midsection. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. This crowd is going nuts. Those shots to the body are vicious. He is taking a beating. Nice body shots. Nice kicks. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Koscheck is bleeding here, Mike. Over and over again with these body kicks. Under 90 seconds remains in round one.
Just over a minute remains. Oh! Oh, he hurt him with that hook. Excellent combination. Left hook, he's down! It is all over! Oh, that's a wrap. TKO victory! Here we see it. What? The veteran voice of the Octagon. Actually, a loss motivates you, you know, more than a win does. It's it's easier after a win. You did everything right. You did good. You, you know, everything went as planned. And there's no adversity. After I lose, the, I want to get that winning feeling again. So look at the positives you know, that happened in the fight, which was for me, just seeing how much I improved within a year fighting. You know, I had fought Dominic Cruz a year before, just to see how much I improved till then. When I moved down just to start training with Uriah, Uriah was fighting Dominic Cruz for the world title, and like I hadn't even started my career. 